Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Judd. I do want to get one thing out of it. My brother's here. Where is he? In the back. He's got back to my rack. So we give him a round of applause one time. Glad you're home, brother. Happy Thanksgiving. And uh, I should warn you that you're probably going to find out some shit about me right now that you probably don't want to know. So. All right, we'll get started. Uh, so, like women, like, I, well, women, we like, gotta have orgasms. Like, sometimes, man, y'all be scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> Like, <laughs> all right. Anyway, check this out, man. Like, uh, I met this chick online one time, and like we go out like four or five dates, and she didn't really talk very much, but she ate, right? And I'm like, well, maybe I just got the freaky chick. I get her back to my apartment, man, and we're having sex for the first time. When she starts having orgasm, she says some shit that I didn't want to know, like. <laughs> My name's Gary. <laughs> yeah. Must have been a smoker. <laughs> Thank you. Now check this out. Anybody here married? One? Oh, yeah, my brother. Duh. <laughs> Remember that. Now check this out. Like, I uh, almost got arrested at a wedding uh, one time. Apparently, like, I was having like a really good time up until some point in the night because when I woke up the next morning, like, I found this note and it was like stuck to my face. Yeah, and I brought it for you guys. I wanted to just share it with you uh, really quick. It says, uh, Dear Douchebag, remember me, your ex-friend? I got married last night. It says, dipping your junk in the chocolate fountain <laughs> and telling my wife it was her wedding gift wasn't cool. When the cop showed up, you took off running, and the only thing you kept yelling was, once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> At least I didn't get arrested. <laughs> oh, to me. I tell you what, I, um, I did do some traveling uh, over the summer, man. I went to go see my cousin. My cousin was down in Arkansas. And I haven't seen him for like four or five years, and he just called me up one time. He was like, hey, come down. We'll catch up. We'll have a good time. There's some things that I want to tell you about. So all right, cool. So I get down to Arkansas, it's like a Friday night, and I'm just kind of, we're kind of hanging out. And I was like, dude, like, what are we gonna do? Are we gonna meet some chicks? Like, go to the bar, get crazy, get drunk? And he kind of just looks at me, and he was like, listen, I don't do that anymore. I'm born again. I was like, what? This dude wants me to find Jesus. He said, but don't worry, man, I got plans for us. I was like, what are we gonna do? He said, we're going to a rap battle. I was like, oh shit, <laughs> like eight mile, like M M&M. He was like, no, even better, Christian rap battle. I was like, all right, man, whatever, let's do it, fuck it. We get to this place, man, this place is packed, and these people, there's people everywhere, and they're all like, just Bible words rap battling. And I was like, holy shit, like, they're Bible words rap battling. So my cousin's over in the corner, and like, um, it's like his time to go up, so he kind of walks up and pulls up this little bitty dude. And he's just kind of staring and looking him down. And he was like, um, pollution, no solution. He's like, you so dumb, you believe in evolution. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I was like, did this dude just get served? <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But you could tell that like this little bitty dude started getting mad. Because when little bitty dudes get mad, they get cobra shoulders. You know what I mean? He was like. <laughs> oh no, bro, no. It ain't happening right here. So he just kind of gets up in my cousin's face and he was like, Adam and Eve met in the park. It's like Brother Noah built the ark. Two by two, you ain't going to heaven. It's just last week, I saw you kissing Kevin. <laughs> that shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's cool with me. Uh, I, uh, here's, something, here's something that really fucking drives me nuts. Like, I hate when people call me 
with the wrong number. Because, like, they want to keep calling you back, right? Thinking that maybe somebody different is going to answer the phone. Like, this guy calls me up. It's like, probably like two weeks ago. He calls me up. He's like, hey, man, is uh, Melissa there? I was like, no. You have the wrong number, but you can talk to Mr. Click. He was like, who? I was like, Click. Hung up on him, right? Rubbery cell phone. Uh, <laughs> but the phone rings right back, and I was like, hello? He's like, hey, man, for real, is uh, Melissa there? I was like, yes, she is here. I was like, well, she's in the shower. I was like, she don't love you no more, dude. I was like, stop calling me. He said, I know she's here. I was like, for real, how do you know that she's here? He's like, I followed you home from work today. I was like, really? What, uh, what kind of car do I drive? He said, you drive a red truck. I was like, that's right, I do drive a red truck. If you want a can of whoop ass, I was like, come over to my front door, man. I'm handing my business right here in front of your girl. I ain't no punk, right? I, I don't have a red truck. <laughs> I like a green escort, man. <laughs> Fuck this dude for driving me crazy, right? Phone rings right back, and uh, I was like, listen, dude, you better be in my front door, because if you ain't, I'm going to find you, and when I do, I'm going to rip your arms off, and shove them down your throat, and you'll be shit fingernails. My mom. <laughs> She's like, son, I see you to ride on the grocery store. But, uh, I'm going to go ahead and walk now. <laughs> All right, so I got to get out of here. It's got the light, but I got to tell you guys one more little thing, and um, so I love... I love, uh, I love watching my buddies and their girlfriends get into fights, right? Because you will find out some shit about your boy that he would probably never tell you, right? Go to a Super Bowl party, and we're at my buddy John's house, and we're watching the game. And the Packers score a touchdown, and my buddy John just jumps up, and he was like, Packers, 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 cheese, cheese, cheese. <laughs> but I caught a glimpse of his girlfriend. And she started turning that color bitch red. <laughs> yeah. And she jumped up. And she was like, I don't know why you better act like a gorilla every time you score a touchdown. Won't you just go back to the zoo, asshole? <sighs> Walks off down the hallway, right? Like us guys, like we like to talk shit under her breath. And my boy was just like, dude, she's crazy. He's like, she don't even know how to make brownies. <laughs> But you know that she heard him, right? Because she comes stomping back down the hallway. And women, when y'all get mad, you start finger talking. And she was like, I know you've been talking shit about me in front of all your little friends. <laughs> Won't you go ahead and tell me what it is that you like? Oh. Now, <laughs> like normally in this kind of situation, man, like I like to kind of step off to the side. Because I ain't getting hit in the back of the head with a plate again, right? But I was like, this just getting real interesting. So I stepped right up and I was like, uh, John, go ahead and tell us. She chimed right in, and she was like, tell them how you like to have two fingers in your butt when we're having sex. Uh -uh. <laughs> and then one time you cried. <laughs> <laughs> like, they had just taken this shit to a whole other level to me. I didn't know what to do, so I was kind of like, hey, John, uh, I'm out of here, brother. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of the show.